Brigade presents The Realty Debate, powered by Reliance Home Finance with Manisha Natarajan. As we head into another festive season, the question we are asking on your behalf today, should you buy a property or home in the coming six months of 2016? Actually, less than six months now, about four and a half months left. Is it worth taking the plunge or should you simply wait out for 2017. Welcome everyone to the Realty Debate on Home Prices in India and Outlook on Future Prices. Joining me today, Irfan Razak, CMD Prestige Group and Chairman Kridai. We also have with us Gita Maranan, CMD ATS Infrastructure Limited and President Kridai. For Mumbai Market Perspective, Deepak Guraria, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, Dosti Realty and Vice President, MCHI Kridai. Also with us, so Armed with Data, Pankaj Kapoor, Founder and Managing Director of Lysis for us. And of course, Samir Jasuja, founder and MD of Prop Equity with me. Gentlemen, I'm going to come to you in just a moment. I'm just going to show some key indicators which do indicate a modest pickup in sales in the first six months of 2016. Now, recently, data released by Prop Tiger, which is an online portal, and international property consultant Knight Frank pointed towards an uptake of 7 to 8% in sales across top eight cities. Now, this slow and steady increase in demand, the report says, shows that actual end users are finding their way back into the market, while investors still remain at an arm's length. I would like to ask my panelists, is it safe to assume that sooner than later, the excess inventory of flats will be absorbed and prices will firm up? Now, what is the time frame for this? is the big question. Mr. Razak, first question to you. Manisha, this is a million dollar question that's asked all the time. Uh, but I believe to buy a property, there's no wrong time or right time. The day somebody feels that they want to invest in a property, buy a property either for their own use or as a long term investment, that's the day. Uh, because uh, history has shown that over a period of time, uh, the, there has been capital growth across the board uh, over a period of time. It's only certain times you have certain l a period of lull and then again it takes up and uh, the prices start getting adjusted to inflation. And in India, as you know, uh, you have a year-on-year -year inflation of at least 6% minimum. And uh, if, if you delay by a couple of years, that, that means you are actually lost out on the overall uh, uh, opportunity to buy a property and you land up paying more. You know, Mr. Razak, what you say does hold some water, but the problem is that, you know, now there are buyers, whether it's an end user or it's an investor who hasn't really seen an appreciation, forget an appreciation, in some cases they've actually seen in resale market their property prices going down. And in India, when a large part of your savings, Gitambar, goes into buying home as your big asset, then you, it is very, very, let's say, worrying when, when your asset prices go down. So, so, therefore, that question, what is the good time to buy? At least you want to protect your downside. Can we say that if you buy in the next four months, your downside is protected? This inventory has come up before its time, and it's all come up suddenly. Now, you know, one must understand there's no new land coming up and what is there is there in these locations and now if any new stock comes up it will come up in far flung areas and away from city centers to take up uh, basically your observation which data to follow because there's so many figures in front of you i'll give you a small example i was with uh, the managing director of uh, pnb housing this afternoon and i asked him you know what's your take on uh, inventory of take across the country he said i'll give you a small example he said, we had uh, two years ago an inventory of 22,000 homes across the country. And last year, in the last calendar year, they have seen a sale of 12,000 units from those 22,000 units. That means, and I don't know where this has happened. I said, has it happened in one particular geography? He said, no, it's happened across the country. So I would agree with the uh, Prop Equity's rep report saying that this entire Sales pickup has been across all geographies. Some places it's been more, some places it's been less. But definitely 2016 first six months have been better compared to 2015 first six months. So when at the end of 2015 developers were saying worst is behind us, in some sense it, it actually turned out so, isn't it? I mean, it, things may not look phenomenal, but the worst definitely seems to be behind them. 
Manisha, absolutely agree with you. The things are in 2016, the Q1, Q2, as Pankaj says, is definitely better than the 2015. In 2015, comparatively, this year we have a lot of takeoff conversion happening at each developer site, even in western part of India. We see a lot of things happening in Mumbai and MMR area. The things are that even if we see the um, results coming from the corporates uh, listed um, developers in Q1, that is uh, April to uh, June 16, everybody has shown a better improvement, better result. And as a developer, we also feel that inquiries are generated comparatively is better number of footfall and number of conversion happening at various sites at various developers in Mumbai, MMR and surrounding area is definitely better than 2016. The trend is positive and we do see the opportunity where definitely further down the line uh, it will be better in end of the Q3, Q4 if we see about uh, uh, 2016 and March 2017 should be a better better than what it used to be now. Okay. So, so about strengths now, I mean, it's going to be hard to call on yeah, weaknesses, so I think, I but think in strengths, which are some of the markets that you think are going to benefit the most from the festive season? You see, the thing is that uh, as everybody is aware that we are really in an end user market. Uh, so end users, whenever and wherever they go and buy, this is probably absolutely the best time to go ahead and buy. You cannot get better rates and you will not get better properties. Uh, and okay, I completely so agree with Mr. Okay, uh, Gitambar on Sameer, that. So, so stop here. This is what I need everyone to take, catch the bull by its horns and do a call on pricing. Because look, I mean, here October, this is an early Dasera, early Diwali that we are going to enter into. This is one of the most... Uh, let's say auspicious time to buy real estate, are we saying that most markets have hit their bottom? Are we calling it a bottom? Yes, I can say safely that we can say uh, it's, it's hit kind of a bottom with respect to pricing. With uh, respect to pricing. With, with okay. respect to pricing. That's what everyone wants to know. I mean, are, is, 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 are homes likely to get cheaper if I can wait a bit? You're saying no. Pankaj, call, call on prices. You know, I, I do agree. If you look at if there were uh, further decline in the prices, it would have happened a year back, which has not happened. So it looks like there's a resilience and the price is going to hold on. So I would, I, I would still say that it's a buyer's market. There's a huge inventory ready as well as under construction ready when I mean to say that there's a huge amount of investor stocks available in the market. So one has a big bargain available. So for, for end users, certainly I, I, I say this today is the best market. They can go, they can strike good values, they can bargain well, and they'll get uh, good options available in the market. And, and I do agree, like, you know, it's the bottom of the market. I would not say that from here the prices will begin to surge. I would say there's going to be pricing pressure maintained over next one, one and a half year. Having said that, I don't see there's going to be further decline and no rise too. Okay. Mr. Goradia, just very quickly, in terms of Mumbai, this is a market everyone said is waiting to crack down, it's slowed down and, you know, prices are likely to come down, it's the most expensive city, all of that and I find that Mumbai is far more sticky than NCR when it comes to prices. So, so are you saying that, look, we may not see prices going up for another year, but we won't even see prices going down. I know as a developer, you'll never say prices will go down. Uh, I little differ with you the view and the opinion which you express about the city of Mumbai. As such, you know, we as in Mumbai, we don't have open green land. You know, the development happening across other cities and Mumbai, lot of development is happening is a brownfield development and greenfield development happening in extended suburbs and in MMR area. Mumbai has got all brownfield redevelopment project of uh, slum redevelopment, cest land redevelopment, society redevelopment project where the supply is not able to generate that great number. There is a phase-wise development happening where one has to settle with a tenant and then make a rehab building or the tenants building for the society and then limited portion is remaining for the sale component. So the supply in city of Mumbai and even in extended suburb is not that huge. Overall, we see the scenario because of little sentiment issue, the uh, prices, customers were little delaying taking decisions. But since last uh, two uh, quarter, we see that people are coming forward. They will realize the prices remain steady in term. The prices point of view, developers point of view, the construction cost has gone up. Okay. 
okay. various cost of paying premium to municipality, government of Maharashtra and even state level and even central level has gone very, very high. So there is no scope of further, uh, that way that builder can uh, cut on okay. any price. The prices point of view, it's all accepted norm that prices are stable now and prices will definitely in time to um, move little on the northern portion or the positively upward trend. But that may not happen in the immediate future. We do expect post October onward the festivity season, lot of uh, maybe a launch because of Rera and issue expressed by uh, Irfanji and all. The issue is faced across India. So new launches have little slowdown. Existing launch uh, projects are going on phase wise basis. Right. So, Takeoff is there, inquiries are there, conversion is happening. We do expect a lot of further conversion in quarter three and quarter four of the year to happen. And overall, Mumbai point of view, the perception of high, high price is limited to only south and mid city. Across suburb is price as good as the price of other cities in India. Okay. So extended suburbs okay. is an MMR area is a price which is still affordable and there is a takeoff happening at that level. Okay. So that is so overall, that, that overall, are homes more affordable than they were about three years? You know, I, what I'm saying that that's why I'm I'm saying that since last two years prices have not gone up. And that's where during the period interest rate, which two years ah, back was in the range ah. of 11%, has become 9.5%. And the income also have grown around 10-20%. So okay. if you look at the interest adjusted affordability, that has shown a 26% improvement. Okay. So Fair prices enough. are I, here I and income is increasing. That's where the, the gap has I got, got reduced. I got so the first time I have a panel which is all saying this is the bottom. It cannot go down lo lower. Pankaj also said cost of construction is not, I mean, inflation, if you look at it, you can't have prices lower even in a city like Mumbai. So I think you can't go lower. We've all established that. It's a good time to go ahead and buy because I think projects, new project launches going down, you will find it harder to get the right kind of property in the right location. Mr. Anand, I am going to end with that point that you made. Gentlemen, Mr. Guradia, Mr. Anand, Mr. Razak, Pankaj and Sameer, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me.